Israeli leaders are denouncing the implementation of the Iran nuclear deal, which was announced yesterday in Vienna. Prime Minister Netanyahu vows that Israel will carefully monitor the deal and claims Iran is still seeking nuclear weapons. Israel will uh, <laughs> Meanwhile, the United States couldn't be more satisfied with the deal. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry has declared that the world is now safer since the threat of Iran's nuclear weapon has been reduced. Kerry claims that Iran completed the necessary steps to restrict its nuclear programs, which means international economic sanctions against Iran will now be lifted. After more than two and a half years of intense multilateral negotiations, the International Atomic Energy Agency has now verified that Iran has honored its commitments to alter and in fact dismantle much of its nuclear program in compliance with the agreement that we reached last July. The implementation of the deal comes just on the heels of Iran's release of five American prisoners. Kerry says that the nuclear agreement represents another step towards reconciliation between the United States and Iran. The Obama administration is trumpeting the deal as a signature foreign policy achievement. But Israeli leaders are saying the U.S. is mistaken if they see Iran as a solution to regional stability. On Saturday, an Israeli official said that after sanctions are lifted, Iran's first priority will be to spend its funds on the military instead of on civilian investments.